Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself, and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me, and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series, and so far I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a juicy, sensuous, provocative love story about human evolution. But child, that is not what I'm here to talk to you about today. Today I am going to show you how to make a face mask that contains an ancient spell secret, like beauty secret, that I have been using for years that... I don't know if it works. My daughter always say, Ma, it's just, God just made you like that. So as you guys know, I am in my mid-50s, and I have gotten carded, and my daughter, who is, uh, you know, 25, well, you know, she's younger than I am, like, and I'll get carded, and she won't, and it always pisses her off. But guys, I'm going to show you how to make this face mask that is going to reverse the, yeah, it's going to reverse time for you. It's really simple and easy. Um, you're going to need, and I'm going to go over it in the video, but just quickly, rose water or a collodial gold. Um, you can use either or. Um, you're going to need lemongrass. You can, you can use the powder form, lavender, the powder form, and rosemary in the powder form. Um, and, or you can you switch it up and use the essential oils or use the essential oils for all of them, but make sure you use the, how do you pronounce it, Jehova, Jehova oil, and you want to make sure you put enough in that so that it doesn't burn your face. I like to use the, the lavender, um, you know, powdered lavender, or you can use like the little po uh, flower petals, or you can use the essential oil, um, the rosemary, you can use the essential oil or the powder, or and the lemongrass, which they also have the oil, and I have all the links, you know, for where to purchase the items. I have, the mask is wonderful. What I do is, I like to um, put it on my face, make it, and it doesn't it doesn't stay like it, it you know. So make a small amount unless you want to put it in the refrigerator, and even then. I just think you should just make enough for one use. So basically, I like to put it on my face and then uh, take a shower. And the steam from the shower just helps the ingredients, you know, just come together. And after I've, you know, showered, lathered up, gotten clean, I like to take the shower head and just go ahead and rinse it off my face. And um, it's like it just your face just has this plumpness and this youthfulness about it but anyway guys I hope you enjoy this video thank you so much for watching hello darlings so now I'm going to go over the items you need to make this ancient secret bewitching beauty mask so first this is um, something I just decided to use like in the last I would say year or so it's a gold elixir which really it plumps the the rosemary and the lemongrass and then I put a little vitamin E in it um, oil and I usually purchase mine from Whole Foods and then I put a little um, what do you call this Yehoba Jehovah oil because this will stop the essential oils from burning and then a little rose water because in the past I would only use the rose water and the vitamin E in the mixture and you'll probably come up with your own thing so sometimes you can use either or you know if you want to use the rose water fine or if you want to use the gold elixir just you know or both but they to me they have the same they carry the same um, energy in the mixture. You're going to use some lavender flower powder. You can order it from Amazon. And I do have a link below. Um, lemongrass powder. And this is actually edible. The lemongrass powder and the lavender powder. And it's, I think they're like nine bucks or so. And also the rosemary powder. I bet you didn't even know all this stuff coming came powder form. Maybe you have, okay? But it's just so fun. So what you're going to do is 
um, mix it to all together in a little bowl. Um, I have a, I don't know if you can see below, I have a, a rose quartz tray that I like to make my items on because I feel like it carries a vibration of beauty and love and I want it to be imbued into my items. So now I'm going to go, go ahead and pour my lavender powder into the bowl. And unfortunately, I wish I measured, measured things. I mean, it would make my life easier to be honest. But I, I'm just, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just pour, and I'm sorry. But, yeah, so you're going to go ahead and use your lemongrass. And I also use a lemongrass essential oil. But if you don't put enough um, jojoba, jojoba, however you pronounce it, or into the mixture, child, it will burn your eyes out. So, yeah, don't do that unless you have enough oil to balance it. Maybe like one or two drops. So I'm just pouring this. I'm going to put this um, mixture together and until it's a paste. Now, this is the thing, guys. While you are making your anchor, ancient secret bewitching beauty mask, make sure that you are saying affirmations out loud. Like, you know, telling it like, I am beautiful. I am gorgeous. I am, you know, um, I always like to say that I am you know um beautiful in my own way like you know like I, I like to claim my own space that um uncomparable beauty like i'm not like anybody else i'm not um th that type of thing I, you know that's just important to me i am the i am the body size where i am most radiantly beautiful and healthy that type of thing so i my ideal beauty my ideal body size you know, I am a timeless being, you know, that type of thing. Um, so you want to, whatever you're, whatever you want to claim, whatever you want for yourself, you give it instructions and you tell it and you make sure that your energy is very positive. This is another reason why I like to, why I like to make it on my rose quartz tray because I feel that it gives it a lot of, rose quartz is, is the, um, you know gemstone of love and beauty and it has a very high vi vibration so it really helps and so I'm stirring the mixture here all together and I'm saying telling it you know all these wonderful things for myself you know I have vibrant radiant youthful skin I look and feel amazingly healthy you know, just say say these things with confidence. Thank you. Thank the you know the um, herb beings or you know I don't know that I sound crazy, but thank you for you know beautifying me for 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 helping me for um, you know coming together. Now this mix, I think it's I don't really know all of the aspects. I was actually taking this internally. And for some reason, I'm not sure if I like the way I felt. I'm, I'm not for sure if I was just paranoid or what. Like, I can't tell. Because sometimes, if you think something, you know. <laughs> so, I, I'm not really sure. But, I don't know. It just seems like I didn't feel like myself. So, I decided not to take it. But, I decided to go ahead and add it to this. And to me, that this is where it belongs. And sometimes, when I want to give my face a boost. Like, say, in between videos or before like you know if I'm going to work or whatever I would just dab some on a um, cotton ball that go to elixir and put it on my neck and on my face and just refreshing my face and man I would just like for some reason to me it, it looked like I looked 20 years younger you know what I mean so I am just mixing this into a paste and then I am going to and, and see what I'm I'm sorry and then I'm going to put it on my face but I like to keep adding the ingredients until I get the consistency that I like. And that's something you can do. Like if you want it to be a little runny, that's fine. If you want it to have a thicker paste, that's fine. But start to get the consistency you want. Make sure your vibration is high. Make sure you are saying positive things. Make sure you are embracing your beauty. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know while you're doing this I feel that everything you do is a sacred act I'm adding this a little bit more rose water here 
So, you know, I think it was a little bit, I wanted to loosen it up some more. And it's, it actually smells so delicious. It smells really good, believe it or not. But you gotta remember, we're talking about lemongrass, we're talking, um, rosemary and lavender powder. And you can also use the lavender petals, cause I usually use both. It's just the mess that it leaves in the bathroom when you put the petals on it. And I, and I always like to, um, you know, like I said, I like to put it on my face while I'm brushing my teeth and while I'm showering. And then that's the last thing I do before I get out of the shower. And the steam allows the mask to, I would say, imbue its magic into my skin. And when I get out the shower, my face always have this really beautiful glow to it. And this is me. I'm just showing you this is like in between videos like sometimes like I said I want to freshen up my face and this is the consistency that I, I like and um, this is what it looks like on your face I mean it may not look <laughs> it may not look you know super beautiful but I'm telling you I, I would like for you to try this and tell me what you think y'all you're gonna feel like oh my god there, there I thought you were looking all young so anyway I'm putting it on my face and this is how it is sometimes when you, you know, when you're in a, in a hurry or you're in between and maybe you, you know, come, you have another something else to do and you don't want to lose those lashes. So I put it on my face. Now this way I hate it. It's because I sometimes I, I try to keep my lashes, but basically I put it on while I'm brushing my teeth and then I'll take a uh, paper towel or not, or not, yeah, warm paper towel and just wipe my face down. And this is me after the treatment. Um, well, it's so crazy that after I did it one day, I said, you know, I should share this with my viewers. And I, you know, but I had already made the mixture and I had already, I had just, you know, was just getting ready. So this is exactly what I look like with absolutely not a stitch of makeup on. And I am, yeah, almost 60. I can't believe it. Y'all, where time go? You know what I'm saying? Um, so this is what I, my, you know, what I, what I look like. Um, my hair is almost white um, because I chose. I'm not dyeing it anymore, and I'm not gonna, you know, walk around like that. And then sometimes you might catch those white edges out there, child. But I try to cover them up with a wig. I can't even tell you how many videos I've redone because I'm like, oh my god, you can see too many, too much. So anyway, um, let me know in the comment box below how this worked out for you. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you find value in it and I hope you try it for yourself. No matter what age you are, I really think these ingredients will magnify your, your beauty. Thank you so much for watching.